Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane here, and look what I'm playing with! I'm so excited! So I'm finally going to show you some things that you can do in here besides just picking out these projects. But there's so much you can do. So they give you directions for things. So first, I'm going to show you a few things. Look at this duct tape wallet. Okay, here are the pictures. There's different pictures. Some of them have a lot of pictures and description, and it tells you the materials you need. It tells you what to do to prep, to cut, and then to assemble it. It gives all these directions, and this will cut out the sheets of duct tape and score them so you can put them together easily. And then it tells you how to do it. I clicked Make It Now, and then the Make It Now button brings you here. And here is where you can move things around. These are actually grouped together so they all move together. But I can, I will show you how I can separate them if I want. And as you can see with the scissors, this layer will cut. Click on this layer, and this is going to cut and score. This layer will also cut and score. And this layer cuts and scores. Now if you're using something that uses uh, iron-on or something that you want to put backwards because you want a mirror image, you just click mirror image. And of course for this it's not really any different. But it's so easy to do that so you can put words up, make sure they're the right way and then just click that before you're ready to cut. And you can't, this has, you can see this does have a print button but when I used it earlier, it did, oh, there. It brings up my printer to print. I hit OK, and it doesn't print. So that is a feature that they're working on still. This, oh. This is in beta, and this feature is not supposed to be ready until the end or till the middle of the year. Let me go check. Okay, I just came back from my printer, and it did print. But this is, they're still working on it, and it's not going to be ready until the second half of the year. So, don't get so excited. <laughs> this is only in beta version, and they'll probably take that button off before it's released to the public. Okay, and you can, let's Let's go ahead and click Purchase and Go. And then here's where you fill out your information. And I'm sure once it's filled out, you won't have to do it every time. And this is $0.99 cents to be able to cut and score this. Or you can pay the monthly fee of $9.99. Or you can click the yearly fee of $99.99. And with the subscription, you will get their entire Cricut library except for licensed images from what I understand but I'm not going to purchase because I don't have the machine yet and then you can add multiple ones and hit apply but I'll show you that in a different one okay now here is all of the different pieces that are going to be cut see these are all they're colored this way because they're on their own mats that way. These are score lines over here on the layers. And then these are the cut lines. So you can see what is being scored. So it'll score it for you, for you so it'll be easy to fold. And what will be cut. We are going to go into a different image. And I'm going to click File. Now here I can open an image. And I only have one image. It's me and the cartoon that I use as my avatar. So I'm going to open that up. Okay, here it is. And here you can, you can move these little tables around. See, here is where you can group or ungroup things. Oh, 
what I did is I just grouped the eyebrow and the mouth. I'm going to click ungroup. And see, I have created all these separate layers by looking at a picture, a JPEG, that I uploaded to the software. And I will show you how to do that in another video. But I just want to show you. It's not grabbing everything. But these, you can click over here on these layers. And that's how you can grab the separate layers. And I had to play with the layers. Like this one is the hair. If you go up to a range, I can stick it, move it backwards. And then I can't see it because it's behind my white head. And I can click undo and bring it back. So this arrange button is how you place all the layers. Like you can click, that's my eyeballs. I can get rid of them. They're still there, but you just can't see them because they're behind everything else. So that's how you do that. If I go to cut, it will cut these out all on a different mat. If I hit sync, it will bring these up and it puts everything in the same color on the same mat. I can drag this up. to this level and it will put these on the same mat then when I go to cut. To cut you hit go and then it'll put everything on the mat for you. As you can see it put the eyes and the hair together. Now I want to save space so I can just move the eyes up here to save space here. And then I can just place my paper right there in the corner. Now if I want to cut all these on the same mat, I can do that. But let's go ahead and what I would have to do is put all these together. They would all be the same color. You have to drag it right here where this, these are. There. Now, they're, it's all the same color, but of course I can cut with different colors of paper on the same mat. Now, to cut with different colors of paper, you'd have to separate these and put them where you want them. Say, you're gonna, I'm gonna put the skin toned one here, the red color here. Move the eyes down here. Actually those eyes in this are the same color. I could put those on the same mat all the time. So you can just totally move these where you want and then lay your paper where it is on the mat. Now so let's say I wanted two. So hit two. Then it's going to give me two of everything and then I can lay those out where I want them on the mat. If you guys have questions, let me know in the comments. I hit go to cut it and then it comes to here. Well, I do not have the machine yet, so it will not work. So I'm going to exit out of there. And I am going to, let's do a new project. And I do not want to save this project just because I liked it, all the different colors. <laughs> I clicked on File and then clicked New. That's right here. Um, or you can open the file. The only file I have saved is the one of me. My Cricut Craft Room files are not in here. I don't know if they will come or not, but they're not as of right now. But it does know what cartridges I have. And I can upload an image. These are the images that I have uploaded. This was this one was a mistake. I don't know how to delete it. Because it was the eyes, but then I had all these other cuts I didn't delete. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. These are just different ones. This is 
an SVG I purchased from, for 50 cents from another site just because I've never used an SVG and wanted to try it. So you can upload a basic image and then it will go to a creator to make it into an SVG. And that's how I created mine. Or you can upload an SVG here. Or you can just click on these and then if you click on it, it becomes checked and you can do more than one and then insert image and that's what it'll do. But that we'll do that in another video. Let's show you this one. Insert image. And these are all the images available. And it says purchased because these are ones that I have purchased and linked into my Cricut Craft Room account. And then it usually has some that are some of them say free and some of them say um, have a price under them. Oh, and it also had the one that I uploaded, my SVG I uploaded, this one. But it says subscription only, but I think they're changing that because this is still in beta because I can cut that. They changed there. So they do have all these images that I uploaded. That's cool because I could use these eyes on a different project or these lips. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't know these were on there like that. This is not available. And it could be because I don't have this image. I'm not sure if these are licensed or they're new and they're not available yet. And then here's some that say 99 cents. And this is in all images. And now I can choose image sets. And image sets are like cartridges or digital sets that they put together. Like the Cricut Craft Room exclusives are also in here. Now see it says purchased, stand and slew. I do own that cartridge and it is linked. That's why it says purchased. This is the close to my heart art philosophy. And I do own this one. So I clicked on that and it opens up these images. But there's many more images in there. I'm going to exit out. Oh, I go back. I should have hit back. Instead of exiting out, hit the back button. What cartridge is this? I just got picturesque. I don't own that one, so I can purchase that entire cartridge for $29.99 or if I don't want the entire cartridge if I'm going to use less than 30 of the images then it's best just to buy them singly and only use buy, purchase them as you need them unless you buy the subscription then you don't need to purchase any of them if you have the subscription But it is cheaper to buy them if you're going to use a lot from there because there's so many images in there. Okay, let's go to my images. And I can just click on here. I can just click single layer. So it will show me my images that are single layer. Okay, let's also go to Flourish and Shapes. Let's also click on Holidays and Seasons. Okay, let's take all these off and let's search up here 
for teddy bear. See what comes up. Oh, my teddy bear parade. I have purchased that. Oh yeah, we're in all my images. Let's click on all images. See now here are some teddy bear ones I don't have. And you can see it comes with the doodle charm set. And I'm not clicking on it, I'm just mousing over it. And it um, this is from an image set Christmas. This is from doodle charms. Now look, this one I would have to purchase, but this one I have purchased. It's the same bear. It must have been in two cartridges. Oh, this one's cute. Wildlife. Let me... I'm going to click on the word wildlife and see if it brings up the whole cartridge. And it does. So I could see if this was a a whole set that I would like to buy instead of just the one image. There's a hundred images in here. That is kind of cool. I'm going to hit back. That's cute. Okay. Let's just go ahead and click on this one and this one. And I'm going to click insert image. Oh, it only gave me one. Okay. Does it only let you have one at a time? should insert both of these there and people are asking about welding and stuff and here it shows all the layers of all the images and you know what I think to weld them you have to have them together so let's see to weld things together you have to go over here to sync first and I think you'll have to move the things onto the same mat to weld them together because as in CCR also Cricut Craft Room you cannot weld things together that are on different mats it automatically puts them on the same mat together so let's see okay let's try to weld this tent with the peanut okay so let's see how we want them to meld together weld together and layers and then weld and see I can weld them together okay now let me show you that again let's undo okay now to weld together you have to click sync and then you have to get the pieces you want to weld on the same mat. That means they're going to look like the same color because you can't cut, you can't weld them together in different colors. So let's weld the peanut. Oh, first we have to ungroup 
and click on this and ungroup this because all the pieces come grouped together so you're not accidentally moving layers like this okay okay let's group this tent with this peanut okay now to do that we have to have them on the same mat so I'm gonna click over here in sync and we're going to sync them onto the same mat. I'm going to see this little stripes piece. I'm going to pull that. I'm holding down my left mouse button and then let going on this mat. And then they go like that. And then you have to grab both of them together. And to do that, I'm, I have the tent selected. So I'm going to hit shift. I'm holding the shift button down and clicking on the peanut. Now I can let go of the shift button and if they're both selected we're gonna go to edit no we're gonna go back on layers and right here it says weld so now these two pieces are welded together see and it came out as a combined shape here so that's how you weld. Okay, I want to show you another way to link the two things in, to sync the two things into the same mat. I was doing it through sync, and I just discovered another way. Let's say I want to click here, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and also click on the hair. And right here it says weld or attach. Let's see if I can weld. If it welds up. Yeah, it does. Okay, let's undo. And I'm going to do that again. Click on the eyes. Okay, I'm going to hold down the shift key and also hit the hair, and I'm going to click attach. And then they're not welded together, but they're attached. If you see the little line there, it shows them not attached, or it shows them attached, not welded. And I'm going to undo, because I don't want them that way there. Okay, so that is another way to do it by holding both images down and you have weld right up here when you're holding those images together. Yay! Aren't you excited? No one's as excited as I am. Okay, now let's get this video over with. I'm going to hit go. Let's see what happens. Now it has all these different cuts on different mats. And here you can see more of the cuts. You can go through all of them. See, there's the one that I have welded together. Now, if you're like me and don't want all these separate mats, then go back and you want to sync them all together. So just sync them all onto the same mat. And then hit go. And then they're all on the same mat and you can move them around. So you can set your different colors of paper on different parts of the mat and cut out as you please. And here's getting ready to cut. I don't have the Explore machine yet, so I can't cut it. So, what do you guys think of the new software? I will be showing more videos of how to do your own images and more too. Leave me comments of what you think and what you want to see more of. All right. Have a great day, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.